are you ones? This is Miss Gigi coming at you again with another juicy episode. Let's get straight into it. Let's talk about how you know you stayed too long in a relationship. Oh my gosh. Let's get straight into this. Now, if you see this person and they fall down and you don't help them up, you don't stay too long. You emotionally disconnected. Now, you started out as every other relationship. You was in love with this person. You wanted the best for them. But they overstayed their welcome in your life. And they start talking to you any kind of way. They start making fun of your appearance. They start making fun uh, why they start asking you, questioning you, why you staying out so late? Why you working so late? With who you with? Where you going? It's like, look, I don't really need you to be asking me all these questions. I feel like I don't have to answer you. But they're saying, but we we in a relationship, we together. But it's like I don't feel like I have to answer any of those questions about who I'm with, where I'm going, and what time I come back. That's between me and myself and the, and the person that I that I planned this that plant this event that's between me when the plants when the event started and when it ends that's between me and, the, and where i'm going that ain't got nothing to do with you and you know that you're in a romantic relationship with this person but you're talking to this person like that and the fact that you don't he, he don't respect your boundaries and you don't respect his boundaries and the fact that time is not a, a factor you don't care anymore about time it could be you can get home at any time of the day or night and you're and you don't care to speak to this person and this person, and you know that um, when you see them, you just want to vomit. It's like, why did I even marry you? Or why am I in this relationship with you? It's like, I cannot stand to look at you. This person stayed too long. And you know that they stayed too long because they have manipulation over your kids. And now he is using your children to trigger you. He might not be the biological father, but he's been in your child's life so long. And then your son has outbursts whenever you tell him, when you try to correct your child. And then, but when he step in, your child calm down and do what he say do, but then your child don't listen to you. Oh, hell no. And you know that your ex... He did this. This man was doing this on purpose. And then he he was so insecure. He told you, I don't want you working so many hours because you're going to you. I feel like you're going to leave me. I feel like you don't need me. So then he want to block your blessings due to his fear of you not needing him because he knows that he's not doing the best work on himself to be a better version of himself. He knows he's coming up short because he 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 can't compete what he don't compare. So if another man is better than him that is his insecurity he has not done the work to elevate that's that's why he insecure that's all why a man is insecure because he's not the best version of himself that he knows he could be so and then he get jealous of you and you being successful in your business because you might find a man doing what on in your career field because that that would make some more sense and so um he would manipulate and buy your son gifts. And you can punish your child and tell your son, I'm not buying anything for you because of your attitude and your bad behavior. And this person will come right around. Your lover will come back behind your back and give your child a bag of gifts and stuff. And stuff that you that you say you weren't going to buy for him. He turns right around and give it to you. He is stepping on your parenting style and the way that you choose to... Um, um, Oh, God. Uh, spare the rod, spoil the child. The way that you choose to correct your child. The way you choose. Discipline. That's the word. Discipline. <laughs> the way you choose. To, he interferes with the way you are disciplining your child. That is a reason raised that you know he say his welcome too long. Because now he feel like he could do whatever it is he want in your life. And y'all been together so long that you're just going to deal with it. Because you haven't showed signs of being with anybody else. I mean, who else you going to be with? You ain't showing. You ain't dating. So 
What you mean? I can do whatever I want. So he's getting comfortable in your house, talking to you crazy how he wants to. And he's basically treating your child the way that he can treat your child. And and you're like, what the hell is going on? And it feels like everyone, everything is backfiring on you. But he's overstayed his welcome in your life when he feels like he can do whatever it is he wants. Because now he done got comfortable with you. He done learned your ways. He done, learned, he done figured you out. So now he can come and go as he please and show up in the way that he thinks that he wants to, even though it is against your better judgment. This man is being a, uh, a nuisance on purpose. He's creating arguments on purpose because he's bored with his life and he's living his life vicariously through you. See, now when they don't stay too long in a relationship, they lost their own identity. He has, he can, he does not know who he is. Therefore, the way that he lives and identify himself is through you and what you do. And so now his only sense of identity is that's my son. That's my daughter. That's my family. And that's really sad because they have really invested. And you should never, ever, if you want the best for your lover, if you want the best for that man, you should want the best for your that woman, you should never, ever even allow them to invest all their time and energy and make you the focal point of their life. Because let me tell you something, when that relationship ends, that person got to find something to do with their life. And they done sat there and made you the focal point in their life all these years that went by. They done sat there and dated you for two years, three years, four years, five years, 10 years, and now it's time to kick rocks and get on down the road. The relationship that ended 15 years later and they still stuck. On that same square peg is where you met them. They have not evolved into a circle. They did not evolve to the next level to be the best version of themselves. So the fact that you let them stay stuck in that situation shows some type of lover that you turned out to be. Because it, in, in any relationship, that's a toxic relationship because the person is supposed to want you to do better. And the fact that you didn't uh, uh, participate or support your lover to do better it is questionable on your character. But that person could also intentionally stagnate their growth because they see that they became comfortable with you and that you're not going to mistreat them in any kind of way because they feel like they know you. So that when they feel like they know you, they could treat you any kind of way because they say, oh, I know she ain't going to do this. I know she ain't going to do that. So I, I can do whatever I want to do. And people stay stuck on purpose or they stay not even stuck, but they get comfortable in that, in that that on that level and not wanting to go higher because that's just their personality they don't really mean they don't they don't really uh have any motivation to do better they feel like why should i need to do any more and so they become incorrigible they really do when they stay too long in a relationship this person become incorrigible so when the person become like that babe you gotta let that thing go and let them move on with their life and get and pick up the pieces the broken pieces of their life because they 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 refuse to get better. They refuse to accept the challenge to change and develop to grow into a better person. They done got comfortable on you. They feel like you gonna take care of me. You gonna always be there for me. You my ride or die chick. Why should I have to grow? No, you done stayed too long. Got too comfortable in my house. So when a person done stayed too long, you start resenting them. You start hating them. You start praying against them. Like you're not happy for their well-being like you don't you don't, you don't really care at this point like i said if they fall you don't even really care to go help them up if they get sick it's like all right you got a call okay cool well i got to you know i got to go to work i ain't really got time for this you don't really feel anything you feel emotionally disconnected to that person if they tell you about they if they having a good day you don't give a damn if they having a bad day you don't care if they're sad hurt um if they're mourning or whatever it is they're going through you could give less than a crap about their day or their time or their thoughts or their feelings like you're not even interested so that is how you know when you're not interested in in that person's um and any 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 new thing they got going on like it's time to go you stay too long in a relationship and, and let me know what you think about this message Rory once have somebody stayed too long in your relationship and your house and you stay too long let me know what you think because you know sometimes it make you sad and depressed upset you have anxiety you know because when you want somebody out of your life and out of your house and they don't want to go then you get mad you get angry you have all types of thoughts going through your mind 
I had to get get it get rid of this person. And so, you know, you start digging holes in the backyard. You know, you start practicing. No, <laughs> no, that's dramatic. Don't do that. I, it was a joke. That was a bad joke. Dark humor. But um, you really just start helping that person with their exit strategy. You know, like find a new apartment, find somewhere to stay. You know, you start, you know, making hints. Like here's a U-Haul here's a U gift card. You start giving them gift cards for storage units and and moving and this and that and the third, whatever. You, you know, you ask them, have you found out you this is how they you know they stay too long when you're anticipating them leaving and it's you're a little bit too happy about it and you feel relieved and you actually ask the lord to move that person out of your life now when you start praying about it and you're asking because that's the best way to handle the situation is when you pray and ask god to remove these people out of your life that is how you know you they stay too long in your life Tell me ways that you've dealt with people that's overstayed their welcome in your life, especially your loved one, especially your lover. Meet me in the comment section. Let's have this conversation. Thank you so much for listening to this message. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Love, hugs, and kisses. Bye.